Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Afsha and I make TOEFL and study related videos to make uh, the life of my fellow friends easier. And yes, so this video is all about TOEFL in two weeks, getting started with TOEFL and how to prepare for TOEFL in two weeks. Uh, a quick disclaimer over here, this video is for anybody who is uh, from mid to uh, good level in English and not like for somebody who is just a beginner and who hasn't even um, spoken the language uh, once in their lifetime or maybe they don't even understand the language. So if you're one of that, I have a couple of other videos which will be linked somewhere over here or maybe down in the description. And um, hopefully those can help you, but this video is not going to be for you. But if you are from a mid to a good level speaker and you understand English well, this video might be helpful for you. So let's get right into it. Number one being make an action plan. So when you are going to register for TOEFL, maybe you're giving it to get into a good university or maybe you're giving it to pass your licensure exam or whatever, whatever your reasons are, get to know your weaknesses. Make an action plan know if you lack attention in reading or maybe you're good at listening or maybe you you don't have the courage to speak English properly or maybe you have a hard time listening to people who speak English. So get to know your weaknesses. Try practicing a couple of questions, doing it online or maybe watching YouTube videos and get to know where you lack attention and then try paying attention to that particular section. Like if you are not good at reading, try reading different pages, try reading the newspaper, stuff like that. If you have a hard time listening, pay more attention to activities that improve your listening or same goes for writing and speaking. Number two would be dedicated time and follow templates. I cannot emphasize this enough. Templates are super, super, super important. Now I'm not talking about like following a template like when you're sit when you're there sitting for your exam in the speaking section or maybe in the listening section, you are paying more attention to the templates that you learned back home rather than paying attention to the to the topic that's being presented in front of you or the listening that is that is being that is being spoken into your ears but small templates that help you pass the TOEFL exam that is super super important for the TOEFL exam for that I have a couple of videos that might be helpful for you in terms of templates which I will link somewhere over here in the speaking and the writing section but yes templates are super important if you were there sitting for your exam and you have no idea how to start the conversation, mainly in terms of speaking, it's not gonna get you anywhere. So yes, follow templates. Templates are super important. Not even watching my videos and you don't find them helpful, try looking for some other videos. There are a couple of YouTubers teaching how to, uh, how to follow the templates in TOEFL. So make sure you follow the templates, especially, especially, especially while speaking and in the writing section of the TOEFL. That's super important. You're not gonna go anywhere without them. Number three, nobody cares about your accent. The biggest mistake I've seen people making when they're sitting for the TOEFL exam is, or when they're trying to speak English, they try to make an accent, they try to fake an accent, as you may say, like they're a native speaker. I, I need to make a point over here. The, the TOEFL exam, is for you because you're not a native speaker. If you were a native speaker, they wouldn't ask you to give the TOEFL exam, if that makes sense. Just let just let the sentence get into your head and let, that, let this thought sink in. You are not a native speaker and they do not expect you to be a native speaker or sound like a native speaker, as you may say in the exam. So stop trying to fake American, British, or whatever accent. Speak naturally, speak whatever comes to your head, speak clearly. It, there is absolutely nobody in TOEFL who's going to judge you for your accent. Not gonna get any mark for your accent. In fact, you might end up losing marks for the accent that you're trying to fake, if that makes sense. Start watching movies in different accents because I don't want you to be sitting in the exam hall wondering what in the world is the speaker trying to say because they might have a British accent, they might have a US accent, they might have an Indian accent, they might have any other accent and you need to understand that. So make sure you are familiar with that before you walk into the exam hall. And how can you do that? By, by watching movies with subtitles on. The subtitles feature in the movies is extremely, extremely powerful if you use it the correct way. So let's say you're watching a movie in British accent and 
I don't know about you, but I'm the kind of person who find British accent a little a little difficult to understand. So, so when try to watch the movie without the subtitles off, firstly, and when you don't get it, try watching the same movie with the subtitles on. If you keep doing this on a regular basis, trust me, there will come a point where you will start understanding British English as well. And this is not only for British English, this goes, it goes the same for US English, it goes the same for all the other accents in the world. So once your brain develops the habit of listening to something again and again and again and then you're reading the subtitles and reading what the what the person was saying in the subtitles your brain will develop a habit of understanding that with time but again that comes with time it's not going to happen overnight so you have to keep watching movies in different accents so you are familiar with different accents when you walk into the exam hall and you save yourself the anxiety of somebody who comes up with British English or maybe Indian English or maybe any other accent. Point would be to start reading newspapers or websites like discover.com, BBC News, CNN News or um, New York Times. So these websites have articles that are normally present in the not the articles that are normally present in the reading section of the TOEFL exam, but articles or um, studies that are familiar to the ones that are presented to you in the exam, if that makes sense. So once you get into the habit of reading these on a regular basis, when you go, th when you go there in the exam room and you get an actual TOEFL reading thrown to you, you will be having some understanding or some familiarity to it since you have been doing this reading activity for about two weeks now and you have become familiar to it so yes so this habit is going to help you in the reading section of the TOEFL exam and I would say do somewhat in the writing section as well because you will be having an idea of how to structure the sentence how the par how one paragraph starts how the second ends how how you're supposed to say what you want to say in the in the paragraphs how you how you're supposed to write what they're asking you to write in the paragraphs i mean you will be having pretty much of a rough idea of how it's done over here in the u.s last would be start getting familiar with the language by speaking in the same language to the people around you. This is an extremely important thing, but I believe it's easier when you have moved over here, or maybe if you have um, friends and family who are um, who are there to help you, you can ask them to speak in English with you at times so you get into the habit of speaking into English because a lot of time what happens is you understand English, you understand English really well, you understand the movies, you can read the newspapers, but you have a really hard time speaking English and you end up slumbering and stuttering and that's what TOEFL tests you for. So get in the habit of speaking to people in English and speaking to people around you because once you, once you make an environment around you that speaks English, that speaks the language that you're going to be tested on, even if that's for two weeks, trust me, that's going to make a huge difference to you when you're sitting there trying to ace your speaking section of the TOEFL exam. Again, if this video provided you any value, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And if there are any other questions that you would like to ask, don't forget to leave a comment down below or um, Follow me on Instagram and feel free to leave a DM over there and I will try my best to get back to you as soon as possible. And I'll see you guys again next time.